All eyes on the 33 of Kyle Wyman starting from pole position. And he's on pole because we had a challenge race a little earlier in the day. Kyle Wyman checked out and won that race, and that got him pole position. He won $5,000 for Mission Foods to do it. So Kyle Wyman on the 33, off to a great start on his Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle Road Glide. And this is what we talked about at the beginning of the telecast. We have three Harley-Davidsons now at the front with the factory bike leading the way over the two Vance and Hines bike. Then Travis Wyman, Kyle's brother, there on the second of the factory bikes. Now the Indians are going to be buried a little bit further back. You can see, though, Tyler O'Hara has made a great start, it looks like. Him and Jeremy McWilliams have both cut through and got through about six or seven riders already. Now, in the challenge race that you mentioned earlier, Kyle Wyman and James Raspoli were able to get out to quick starts, gap the field, and run fast lap times and made everybody else play catch-up. This time, you can see Hayden Gillum is trying to go with them as they break for the first time into turn six. Now you're going to see the factory Harley, Greg. This is where Kyle's bike has just got a little bit more. James Raspoli does a great job of getting out of there, getting into the draft at the 33. Let's see if he can do anything with him by the time they get to the chicane. And those factory Indian challengers on the Indian Motorcycle Progressive Mission Foods entries have been fast. Without this headwind, and we are suffering from a headwind, those Indian challengers have been going 100, or 180 miles an hour, a little bit quicker than those Harley Davidsons. But there's a lot of ground to make up as James Raspoli, the number 43, second bike in your screen trying to make up that time under braking on Kyle Wyman as those factory Harley-Davidson's a little bit quicker on the banking than the Vance and Hines mission Harley-Davidson. Yeah, and the Vance and Hines bikes have been doing a lot of work during the offseason, Greg, to get themselves and bridge this gap closer to what we have been seeing from the factory bikes. When you look at these motorcycles from where they started in 2020, they literally are starting to run sport bike lap times around here. Just for a reference, a minute 51 earlier for Kyle Wyman uh, in, in the challenge race. Tyler O'Hara in fifth place. Jeremy McWilliams coming from the last row up into seventh spot. But our focus uh -huh. is here. And oh, Bobby Fong, who is one of the favorites heading into this championship, has a bit of an issue, and he's off track. Yeah, he's looking down. He, he went into that turn three area and ran straight, and it looks like somebody else was also having a problem there. You see the gap back to Tyler O'Hara that these four have already put down. It was Danny Estick also that had an issue in that turn three international horseshoe area. So the 69 is, oh, James Raspoli almost gets thrown wow. off the bike coming out of turn six. He wants to get the best drive he can out of here, and he's going to get this Harley sideways. You can see that thing. It is a bucking Bronco all the way up to the wall. Raspoli holds onto that bike. He just didn't want to let it go, did he, Jay? No, look at this. He's going to get it sideways. you got to remember, this guy's a dirt tracker as well, and he's got this thing all kinds of out of shape. How did he just save that? I don't know. Wow. Generally, you always want to say in racing, look where you want to go, and that's not the spot. And he's already drawn up on the back of his teammate, Hayden Gillum, on the 7-9. He's gone past him as they come through the trial. Well, Kyle Wyman's going to have himself a nice little lead, a 151.6 for the 33. A Kyle Wyman, fastest lap of the weekend. That first split, Raspoli was almost a second quicker than Kyle Wyman out of turn six. And you see Hayden Gillum now. These are two teammates that can work together. Uh, both these guys, it's great to see Hayden Gillum. He's going to be a busy boy this year, Greg. He's got all kinds of different machinery and bikes when we get to some of our other Moto America races that he's going to be doing, Superbike and Stock 1000. And you see him, he's going to be riding the Daytona 200 this weekend on a GSX-R 750. And, of course, now he's on the Vance and Hines Harley Davidson this year as well. So these two teammates, if they link up and start trying to work together a little bit, Raspoli slingshots back past the 79 as they come down to the tri-oval. Greg, as we approach the halfway mark of this race, four laps strung together is really significant for the majority of the riders in the field. It's more than most of them have been able to do in a row throughout the weekend due to red flag conditions yesterday and today. So this is the first time that really everyone in the entire field has had the opportunity to go out and let these motorcycles stretch their legs and see what they can really do. Seems like we're seeing a little bit of smoke there, too. I'm not sure which bike it was, but uh, it's, it's Kyle, Kyle Wyman's Kyle bike, Wyman's is, bike smoking, is smoking. Yep. And the two guys behind him are going to be really sketched out by this, uh, as you can see. And uh, this was something that I think we saw last year. Didn't Kyle have problems here last year as well? We just got to hope that, that it doesn't get... Uh, did he just look down? It almost looked like Kyle looked down. The, 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 yep, he's got the hands up. Black flag. Uh, he's not going to have to be black flag. If he's going to get that bike out of the way, that is... A super big shame for the 33 of Kyle Wyman, who was doing everything he could 
He's a little bit snake bitten at Daytona, isn't he? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, after the big $5,000 purse earlier today, it just doesn't seem like he's got oh. it. This is the first points paying race for the Moto America season for Mission King of the Baggers. We're 51 sevens. And Greg, you noticed it really early as they came out of turn one. A little bit of smoke, didn't you? Just a little bit. And it turned into this. It's been an interesting day of weather here in Daytona. Definitely warmer than it was last year as we look at these Vance and Hines mission. Harley Davidson's getting after it. James Rispoli on the 43 local here in Florida now. And there goes his teammate Hayden Gillum. These riders two different size people too. And you can see how much grunt these Harley Davidson's have. You can also see the respect there when they came across the trioval. James had a little look over saw Gillum there. He wasn't going to just pull oh. it down in front of him. What they've got to be careful of now is they've got to try to keep their pace up because Travis Wyman is still just only 1.3 back. And you can see he's having a little bit of trouble getting that bike slowed down into that international horseshoe, Greg. The lap before that, Raspoli had some trouble. And you're going to see here the big slide from Hayden Gillum on the exit of turn one as they go through this fast kink. And then he's, he's probably thinking, i got to stay in it a little bit longer. Lost a little time here and just overbroke a little bit down into that. You can see, though, Greg, Travis Wyman is trying to do the factory team a favor here by drawing ever closer to Raspoli and Gillum, and he has done that 51-9 that time for Travis Wyman, who missed the whole first session yesterday. So he didn't get, he doesn't have quite as much track time as everybody else. Tyler O'Hara that time, 52 flat. So the number one back there is running relatively close to the same lap times as everybody in front of him. And now, why, look at this. Raspoli mm. did what Gillum did the lap before, and Travis Wyman is right on them both. You know, his vision with this team and with these bikes and what they're doing moving forward. And you can see all the work they've put in during the offseason to get these bikes running up front. I know that they've spent some time at some different tracks trying to figure out a way to get these bikes better. And uh, and they've definitely done that. 51-7 again. Well, as we head to the stripe, and it'll be two laps to go once they get there, Jay. If you're Travis Wyman, are you trying to show your cards a little early? And there goes a draft and pass move. Verspoli to the point around his teammate that I think this is critical for these two riders to be able to keep up their speed. Yeah, we got a debris flag on the ground uh, as they came through the trioval as well. I, so I think I saw like a um, a tear off bouncing around on the uh, track okay. last time we went by. That might be something that they were looking at. I don't see anything else. Do you? Travis Wyman's close enough this time, Greg, to get that two bike rider draft here. You're going to see these two guys are going to get side by side. And the number 10 is going to just draw right into the back of the draft of these two and would be able to slingshot by both of them. And it's exactly what Travis does. He gets down the inside. I think Gillum's going to lead him through. Wyman's going to be the second bike. Now, this could work out for James pretty well. See how much how much Travis loses in that chicane. That's going to be his Achilles. Oh, and oh, his bike's, his starting bike's to go. gone. Oh, the other factory Harley has parked itself down on the bottom apron. Both factory Harleys go up in smoke. It's going to be between these two Vance and Hines. Harley Davidson's now and Gillum red has flag. It. Wow. Red flag. So red flag is out. Hands are in the air. And we're going to have to go to the tape and see how this one's going to be scored. So the red flag is out, of course, for safety issues. If there's any oil on that banking. That is such a blow for this team right here. Both the both the factory Harley Davidson's are out. And how about either way, Greg? I think we have a Vance and Hines winner. Regardless, it's going to be one of these two. And it looks like possibly that they went back, reverted back. It looks like James Raspoli is now wow. at the top of the leaderboard with Hayden Gillum in second and Travis Wyman in third.